Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined today by Some Call Me Johnny and Chugga Conroy to discuss what could be shown off in the upcoming Nintendo Direct. We know it will cover up until spring of 2015, but what could that include? Well, what do you guys think? Let's see. Since E3, since they haven't really done... Uh, if I recall correctly, the last Direct that was uh, available on the internet was the Hyrule Warriors specific Direct and there was a Bayonetta 2 Direct. Those are specific games though. Mm -hmm. A full-fledged Nintendo Direct, I don't think we've had one since E3. And do we remember exactly what was shown off there? We had Yoshi's Wooly World. We, uh, we had the uh, Kirby Canvas Curse, was it? No. Rainbow, Kirby and the Rainbow Ra Curse. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. There you go. Uh, and a lot of other things that I've, if have not been released already are on the verge of getting released uh with that said i think it's going to spend some time focusing like at, like at the beginning of the direct it's going to focus on things that are up and coming smash brothers of course mm -hmm. in fact making a prediction right now we're going to get the duck hunt dog trailer tomorrow yeah totally agree there uh besides that you know we'll probably get some uh, last minute exclusive you know info on the new amiibos coming out in just a few weeks time and whatever is on the verge of getting a release this holiday season, which doesn't matter at this point because all we really care about is Smash Brothers. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles X, please. K, okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, denied. <laughs> it won't happen. It, hey, I don't th actually, it might happen. Didn't it? It uh... might. I, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles got a spring release uh, during its year release in North America. Plus, it was a, I think it was an early 2009 release in Japan as well. Well, the other thing that happened is that the wife of one of the producers, I think it is, or directors or one of that, did retweet this direct, which she usually does. Remember the time that they retweeted what ended up being the Robin reveal and everybody thought it was going to be yeah, Hulk? Yeah, I just <laughs> put the buck to bring that up because it, it's exactly like that. Uh, look, I know you guys want... Has it been given a name? Is it, is it called Xenoblade Chronicles X? It's, yes. it's called Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yes. X. Mm. Okay. Uh, you guys want to see that? I, I, I'm up for that exactly, but uh, perhaps I'm uh, too much of a cynic at this point in time <laughs> to think that we're... You know, or maybe I'm just bitter that I still haven't got a release date or trailer or teaser for Metroid 5. Make it happen. <laughs> for God's sakes. I want a new Metroid game. I want to see what happens after Metroid Fusion. There's story potential there. Yeah. She's part Metroid. There's stuff you can do with that idea. She's on the run from the Galactic Federation. That's what I'm more curious about. She's part Metroid. I don't really care about that. <laughs> so what? Uh, she can absorb <laughs> jellies now. I, I, I want to see what happens now when the GF is after her specifically for ruining the, 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 the space lab. That's what I want to see. Or Prime 4, which is, a, you know, oh, man. Just a new Metroid game in general. Make it happen. I I don't know if we're definitely not going to get this direct, but I, I maybe no. E3. I yeah, can see it happening I, I, E3. I'd be a fool to think that we're going to get something new this direct. Mm -hmm. of a, of well, a we new did get Hyrule time. Warriors in a direct. Um, Yoshi's Woolly World was also initially revealed in a direct, and like n neither of those were around E3. I, I think there was... Oh, also, uh, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X was actually also revealed at a non-E3 direct. Hmm. Mm -hmm. if, I, if you say that, and I remember Hyrule Warriors was revealed last December... Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you bring up a good point, uh, but I don't know, will a lesser franchise, I say that from uh, numbers alone, will get that same kind of attention because, you know, Hyrule Warriors last December, uh, Link Between Worlds last uh, last uh, April of last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Link uh, Between Worlds also was not at uh, E3. You know, will something like Metroid get the same treatment? I doubt it, but, you know, I know one will come eventually, just I want to know when but that's enough about metroid <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny you bring that up i actually just ordered metroid prime i've never played it what yeah what <laughs> the only the only Sacrilege. metroid game that i've actually played is super metroid and i never finished it oh. you're, the, the, you're the nintendo guy you're the family friendly nintendo lp here you never played metroid prime no I, actually that's not family um, friendly <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Here you no, are I just, with you. I couldn't really afford many games when it came out, and it wasn't really a series I'd ever played, though. And it's like, if I'm going to, like, what is it? as a kid, if I was going to drop 50 bucks on it, I had to be sure I was going to like it. And Oh, you're well, going to, uh, oh, I can't speak for everybody, of course, uh, but. Actually, you're, you're going to be ashamed of me. Oh, no. Mm. I rented Metroid Prime one time when I was a kid to test it out and see if I would like it. I couldn't get past Frigid Orpheon because I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 11, okay? No! no I was like 7 when I played Super Metroid and beat it. You can do that. Go oh, do it again. Well, I to, be fair, it was the second, to be fair, it was the second first-person game I'd ever played, only after the original Half-Life. Uh, I, I actually got another Metroid fact that'll blow your mind, Johnny. I, you mentioned this during your um, uh, Metroid 2 playthrough. Um, that was my first Metroid game. 2 yeah. was your first one? Yeah. Well, well, you know, it got, I, I'm always, I got I'm it always for cu- a gift. And I'm I always curious to hear what uh, people's uh, first Metroid experience was. And you, you're not the first to say 2. Uh, I, I've had a few friends that said they had their first experience with two, and I don't, I don't know why the sudden curiosity with the second game of the franchise. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, it has a really, it has really good music. I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, well, Metroid Two. I know uh, SR three eighty eight specifically. The theme um, for SR three eighty eight. I mean, I know the whole game takes place there. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. You, you think I say soundtrack and Metroid Two? It doesn't exactly come to mind <laughs> because that game is mostly background noise. Yeah. Well, there's not many songs though, but the few that exist are really good. I love SR three eighty eight's theme. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, I, I, I never beat it. I didn't know. I could. I kept getting lost. I didn't know what to do. I, I was just oh. wandering around. I would get so far, but then I would inevitably couldn't find the one Metroid I need to kill in order to pro- progress. No. And then I dra- I would just I couldn't train the water or the lava, I guess it was, or acid or <laughs> yeah. whatever the heck it was. So I would try to go down there because I realized there's more down there, but I have no idea how to drain it. So I never beat it, but it, that was my first. And then gradually got into the more of the games and... Yeah. <laughs> We're getting a bit sidetracked here. Uh, we're just kind of talking about Metroid experiences. <laughs> Damn you, Johnny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You dropped that bombshell on me. Anyway. I do agree with you. We have to be getting a Duck Hunt trailer. They they showed that image teaser. It's got to happen. Well, is Duck Hunt... Okay, is Duck Hunt actually a starting character in the Wii U version? I know that more no. characters are starter, though, but... No, is he? he is not. He is not a starting character. I'm going to say no, then, because I'm going to say that we're going to get... um. Is there any other new character other than Bowser Jr. that is a starter character? Because if there is, I think we're going to be getting that, though, because with um, with Brawl, they would not reveal any unlockable fighters until after the game was out, and they've kind of been doing the same thing here, where they would not show us the Bowser Jr. trailer until after, the, um, after it was confirmed that he'd be a starting character in the Wii U version. And then not only that, but the last trailer that we got before the 3DS version came out was Shulk, who was the last starting fighter that hadn't been revealed. Mm. The only the other characters got confirmed for starting is Ganondorf, Ness, and oh, there was one more, um, Jigglypuff. Uh, those are the other none three, of those are new. Yeah, neither none of those are new, so they're not going to get any type of trailer. Uh, and actually, the Smash Brothers website. Uh, has the hidden characters. There's only two characters they haven't done photo sets for, and that's Doctor. I believe Doctor Mario. If I'm no, no Doctor Mario is in the no, website. Uh, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. And Duck Hunt. Are we gonna get a Are we gonna get a Dark Pit trailer that's just like recolored to be slightly darker than the original <laughs> the, uh, Palutena trailer or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he already made his debut. He got that yeah. little bit. Yeah, he's, he's at the go. end of the, the trailer. Uh, never would I would think that that's actually foreshadowing. To Dark Pit getting his own slot. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how every uh, time they ever did like a um, a foreshadowing thing, like or a little teaser thing, like at the end of a trailer, it actually came to pass. Like how Metal Face is actually a boss. How uh, Dark Pit actually was a character. Yeah. Like every time they did something like that, it actually became something. There is a bit of a contradiction uh, to you saying that none of the characters uh, that had to be unlocked got a trailer beforehand. Lucina. She is not an unlockable character yes. in either Wii U or 3DS. Or not a playable character right away. And she was pretty front and center until Robin showed up. You have a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. Then it... I, I, I really do think Duck Hunt's out because I think Smash 3DS just throws it all into you know, chaos. Yeah, no, nothing secret anymore except for the Wii U Stages. exclusive stuff. Yeah, the uh, only thing that um, the only way that I'd ever would have disagreed with that is if Lucina was a costume for Martha, but she was never stated to be a costume. They stated clear front and center that she was a character from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So I, I really do think it. And the other reason I think that is because they showed that image. We all thought Duck Hunt was going to get a trailer during that the, the Smash Direct because of that image, and it turned out to be Bowser Jr. So 
you know, he's basically revealed that, yeah, yeah, we got another secret character and we got a trailer for it. It has to get released. I this And I think this is the perfect time for it because, you know, two weeks out. Yeah. Mm. I also believe that we're probably going to get a lot more information on the Mario Kart 8 DLC, specifically a release date. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, like, it, it's so weird, like, the Mario Kart 8 release date because they're like, it's coming out in November. But, but it is November. <laughs> it's coming out in November. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what Nintendo's been like on the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, so we'll probably get the rest of the tracks, wherever they might be, and then the uh, uh, release date for that. And I think the same thing will happen with uh, the Hyrule Warriors D- DLC, because there's supposed yeah. to be another one released. And actually, we were looking at the uh, yeah. website, and it does say available now for the second pack. Yeah, that was last night. So, like, just two nights before this direct, they are saying, you know, Twilight Princess DLC available now on the website for Hyrule Warriors. So they're probably just going to formally announce that on the direct instead of... Uh... Having a stealth uh, release. Please have mercy with releasing this next Tyrell Warriors DLC. I haven't even finished all the content of the last DLC. <laughs> I can almost see them. You know how they typically do, like, we're playing this. We're showing this off. By the way, now we've shown this off. It's available right now to play. That's probably download. what they're doing, yeah. It's pulling a Saturn on us. Yeah. I don't like it. No, <laughs> well, they, did, they did the same thing with, uh, I think it was Mega Man 7 during the... Um, uh, that the whole Clubhouse, Nintendo Clubhouse uh, stream they did uh, when they showed off, you know, Smash Brothers 3DS. They, oh, they, 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 they just didn't run, run, run up and announce 7 right there and now. Yeah, they, they, they were playing it, and they, as they were playing it, it was like, by the way, this is available to download now. We announced it, and now it's available to download. Go do that. Just, <laughs> so Nintendo loves to do that stuff. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> now, do you think... I? You obviously both think we're going to see stuff for Captain Toad and Pokemon. Anything you think they'll get anything new, or just sort of like, "Hey, it's coming." No, I, just I, exactly that. They're, they're yeah. just on. They're on their way because there's no need to spend any more time on those sort of games when we already seen enough of it via treehouse events, uh, streaming events, all that stuff. They'll maybe, they'll spend probably about I say a minute tops on Captain Toad. Mm. Uh, even I would say a little more time on Pokemon. Uh, Auras, because I never remember which one is Alpha, which one's Omega. <laughs> Omega uh, or the Alpha Sapphire. Thank you. Uh, they'll spend a little more time on those, but not much, because we all know, they're all everything's coming out this month, mm-hmm. so you don't need to spend that much time. You guys have been doing enough of all that with advertising, press releases. We all know what's coming. Don't waste any more time on it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I personally think that... Um, for Pokemon, I think we'll get a trailer, but I'm not seeing them doing like any new Megas, because if I'm not mistaken, we haven't had new Megas revealed through a Direct before, have we? Me? I, I'm, I'm fuzzy on it, so I'm not, I'm not positive. We're, are we also talking X and Y? Well, I mean, when... they, they post, um, they always post trailers to the Pokemon YouTube channel whenever they reveal new Megas, or it'll be like in a gaming magazine, mm-hmm. but I don't think there's ever been a Mega exclusively revealed through a direct before so i could see us getting a trailer i don't think we'll get a new pokemon or a new mega or anything like that yeah I think um, you're right. not only that though um for captain toad um i'm gonna throw it out there and say that you're gonna have another simply evil over 70 level screen to brush through <laughs> that would kill us that would kill us you know, <laughs> actually would kill andre 40 <laughs> minutes of Captain Toad analysis. They, I, I will say right now, that was all him. I had I did voiceover for that one, but that's only because if he had to do the whole voiceover, it would have taken him another day and a half. Because oh, no. I, even doing it, me doing that whole section that I did, that took me an hour to record and get it, get the inflection right and everything else and make sure it was all good. I was just ready to stop. Like, like when I say, like, Andre, take it away from me, I meant it. Just get the hell because <laughs> it's just... <laughs> So much Captain Toad, but I gotta say, it was, it was good information in there. I am actually really excited for that game. Go watch it if you haven't already. I don't mean to make it sound like it's too much at 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes of good stuff. I remember when I saw that, I was just like, uh, do I really want to sit through all this? Maybe I should just, you know, wait for the game to come out. Though. But no, it actually did have a lot of useful stuff in it. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm really excited for Captain Toad, and I gotta laugh. At, like, a lot of people, like, like I no, no, I don't want to watch it. Spoilers, because, you know, we, we break it down so much that people are like, you're spoiling how to do the puzzles. Well, <laughs> it's an analysis. It's what I do. Yes, we are insane and look way too deep into things and are insane. <laughs> um, 
Uh, so do you guys think we will see Yoshi's Woolly World? And if we do, do you think that indicates in a much earlier release date than we suspect? Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. The game technically will have been announced uh, two years ago this January. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely possible that we would, um, you know, have a release coming up pretty soon. Plus, um, I don't mean to talk smack about, like, certain games, though. But, I mean, (laughs) Sticker Star was released a kind of not-so-great reception, and they kind of just slapped down uh, Dream Team, like, just a few months afterward. I kind of can't help but wonder if they're going to do that with Yoshi's New Island versus uh, Woolly World. I hope not. Because mm-hmm. that's not Wooly World's fault. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's it's really not. Because uh, y- Yoshi's new a uh, new Yoshi is it Yoshi's new island? New Yoshi's, Yoshi's, new, Yoshi's, island. New, Yoshi's island. new Yoshi's island. new. What happened to the old one? Uh, this is a new well, island. The, well, the new one's a floating island that's like a different Yoshi's island. Oh, than the original. okay. So he yeah. just relocated. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I get you. This is another yeah. island. It's sort of trolling like a, in that trolling in that Nintendo money. Like, uh, not it. really, from what everything I've indicated, I did. Well, a bunch or, or, yeah, whether whether or <laughs> not the, the quality of the island is a completely different story, but you know, Yoshi's New Island, I've avoided. I wouldn't say like the plague, but pretty close, because everything I've seen of that game just looked rushed, unfinished, lazy. And then I see Yoshi's Wooly World, which already from a visual standpoint blew my mind away. Compared to Yoshi's New Island, because that game also looks—I dis- uh, won't say disgusting—but <laughs> but you, you know, you it's get so what I cute, mean. It's so cute; it makes me vomit. <laughs> yeah, but Yoshi's Woolly World just—I want to—I want to—I want to try it out. But, uh, I didn't really uh, garner any interest in like Kirby's Epic Yarn because I thought that was Screw a little. Screw you! Okay. Uh-oh. I, I, we I got Kirby really... versus okay, Metroid okay. going uh, on it's here. It's his revenge. Revenge! <laughs> I hurt you as you've hurt me. Uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn was just a little too cutesy for me. It, it gave me diabetes, just looking at it. <laughs> Yoshi's Wooly World is a little more subdued, I think, with the color palette. Still very green, still very bright. But there's a visual there's a visual reach there that I think, thanks to the Wii U, was made possible. And I know it's going to play well, because Yoshi's, the Yoshi's Island formula never really disappoints. And I'm legitimately curious about it. You know, I I remember when I played Yoshi's Island a few months ago for my review on my channel, and, you know, that was a game I grew up with in the mid-90s, Yoshi's Island. I loved it. I loved Yoshi's Island DS, and after that, I kind of stopped. But Yoshi's Woolly World, I think, think is a a good place to jump back into the world of Yoshi's Island, so... I hope the we see more of that tomorrow. Island. Well, whatever. It's still it's it's everything is yarn. It's it's Yoshi's Island, but everything's made out of knitting materials, and I want to see more of that. Yeah. No. What I uh, Chuck and I both got to play it uh, at E3, and it yes. plays beautifully. It's My- it is a lot of fun, and I will say it is a troll's paradise in two player mode. I, the guy I was playing with was constantly killing me. <laughs> my only issue with it actually is in the two player it's that whenever your partner eats you you know to turn you into an egg and throw you you lose all of your eggs when your partner does this and when it's your partner doing it you don't have control over it you can just have all your eggs taken from you by something that wasn't your fault and mm. that's one thing that i really want them to change in the finished game and i i did suggest that to them that was like my one thing that i criticized um <laughs> after playing it but you know yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to yeah. be constructive with that sort of thing. But otherwise, that's only the two-player mode. Everything else played great. It was fun. Yes. And I really do think we're going to probably get either January or February, mainly because of Smash, because it's a level in Smash. That's mm-hmm. rare. So it makes me think that the game is nearing completion, and I think we really could see it in this Direct. Yeah, what's crazy is that... um. If you recall, games that were coming out around the same time as Brawl had no representation in Brawl. Like, for example, Mario Galaxy predated it by about five months, and there was no representation of Mario Galaxy in the game whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yet now, we have Woolly World not even being out yet, yet it has a lot of representation in Brawl or in uh, Smash Bros. Wii U. Like, even the music is going to be in Smash Bros. Wii U for a game that's not out yet. Because they they now get the idea to use Smash Bros. as an advertising medium. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. I just want to say, uh, they did that first with Metal Gear Solid Four. Those crafty, sneaky delinquents, <laughs> them because you know you get it, it, Smash Brothers Brawl predated Metal Gear Solid Four. It did, mm-hmm. but you can see yeah. geckos in the in the back in the Shadow Moses Island, and you know people are wondering, yeah. oh, what are those things? I was like, well, those are geckos. You can find it in Metal Gear Solid Four on the PlayStation Three. Even wow. the movie said that. Yeah, it just yeah. they they kind of shot themselves in the foot with that though, because what I'm thinking is. 
uh, just personal theory for why Snake's not in the game is that I think there's just kind of that bad blood that maybe they Konami said they'd be like supportive of Nintendo in that generation. They just weren't. They didn't release a single Metal Gear game, and it ended up just they basically just ended up advertising a Sony product in the end. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely using Smash Brothers though as an advertising medium is what they're going for now. People see the Wooly World stage and hear the music. They say, "Wow, I really like this stage, or I really like this uh, the songs that are playing here." I think I just might buy Yoshi's Wooly World and Mission Accomplished if that's what they're really going for. And I totally think that's what they are doing. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, they got that whole um, classic section where you can play the old yeah. games and then immediately go to the virtual console, uh, the uh, eShop, and buy them. Oh yes, yeah. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you're right about that. Yes. So they're they're picking up on it, and uh, good for them. I mean, if it means getting some of the these games that we have, some of these characters that we haven't seen in a while, get games. I'm all for it. Like, let's change up what Nintendo brings out, and I, I really hope that they start doing that more. Hey, with games like Hyrule Warriors and Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, which probably actually might get shown off tomorrow, considering we know nothing about that game and we've known about it all this time, and it has a twenty and it has a twenty fifteen release. Does it? I have not heard anything of that game since it, they first announced it. Yeah, we I might see that tomorrow. <laughs> we know nothing about it. Hmm. I don't. Maybe. Buy it. <laughs> I, I, I am a, on the same boat, even though I am not what you would call a Fire Emblem fan or Shin Megami Tensei fan, for that matter. But. Even I, I realize how little info that game has gotten for it. Uh, I would, but I wouldn't go so far to call it vaporware just yet. It's no Duke no. Nukem Forever. No, I, no, I would not say it's canceled though. But no, I don't know. It's it's only a chance that we'll see it tomorrow. Obviously, like with anything though. But I don't know. I'll be optimistic about it just because it's been like two years and we know nothing about it. In fact, I think it was actually revealed at the same time that Xenoblade Chronicles X was. I think it was during the same show. I, mm. It might be, yeah, because and we didn't get a single. Sc- we have we have yet to get a single screen. I think we got a. Uh, a mock-up of what the the, uh, the logo will be, and that's about it. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just not much. Um, the only other thing I can think of that might pop up uh, for tomorrow's Direct is information on when the new 3DS will be coming to the, the United States and a little bit more information on that. I don't see that happening because I think their reason for not releasing it stateside is because they want those 3DS XL bundles to sell at Christmas time. And they just simply are not going to sell that well if they formally announce that that new product is coming to America and they give it attention. I think whenever we hear about that coming to America, it's probably going to be in spring of next year. It would make sense. It just it, it doesn't make sense to announce it right now from a business standpoint. Then again, to be fair, when has Nintendo been once to listen to business standpoints? They <laughs> surprise me all the time with like announcing <laughs> stuff. Like they announced the 3DS before the DSi XL came out, and I'm like, why would you do that? Like. <laughs> No one's going to buy the DSi XL now that they know a next-gen system is coming out next year. Well, this is the yeah. same company that had Super Mario 3D World and A Link Between Worlds released the same day last year. They're doing it again with Pokemon and Smash Wii U. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, and Amiibo. Yeah, I don't know if it works. I don't know if it actually works out for them. I honestly don't know. But it seems so counterproductive because I've seen so many people like, Do I, should I get Smash or should I get Pokemon? And To be fair, they are on two separate platforms and not everybody owns both. Very true, very true, but, you know, it, it's, I, I just get the feeling that one's going to get chosen over the other, and... Maybe... No, but that's the, thing about, that's the thing about Nintendo, though. Nintendo always manages to last in the long run. Mm, true. You know, uh, I can't remember exactly uh, where I heard it. It might have been an interview with Reggie in one of the E3s, but, you know, Nintendo games, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it's, it could be just a case-by-case basis, have a very long shelf life. You know, th- mm-hmm. those are games you don't play for the week and then trade in because you're done with it. The quality alone on a lot of first-party Nintendo games last years, they have, you know, the the, the 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 trade-in ratio with Nintendo titles is very low because people love what they play and they want to hold on to it. Mm-hmm. And that spreads via word of mouth, and that's how... We sports end up being the most successful game ever on Nintendo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, I can't believe that. Actually, but, it's the most successful console game of all time. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> you know, Nintendo is power is in quality and word of mouth. You know, because yeah. you know Sony and Microsoft and uh, whatever those you you got your yearly releases and more power to them. You find enjoyment out of that, but. Nintendo doesn't so much invest in that kind of business strategy. Well, as of recently, they kind of been with Pokemon anyway, uh, and Mario, yeah, and Zelda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 
but so. they still they still manage to bring in the quality and they'll sell high numbers as a result. So yeah, mm. Nintendo. I I want to. I'm a loyal Nintendo consumer. I want to say it's biased probably that I want to see them succeed and they know what they're doing. They can't do no wrong except for the Wii U 2012. Uh, well, but I, that's I my Wii U that's had my a good decision. launch in 2012. It was more so that it just wasn't followed up with anything in 2013 is more what I thought the problem was. I disagree. I I think they only had Mario U for them because nothing else I just didn't think nothing else had the same catch. You know, there was Zombie U and there was uh Nintendo Land was good. Yeah, Nintendo Land was bundled with the system and I suppose well, the, the bundled with the deluxe version of the system. Yeah, and it was it was still the game that everybody that I invited over wanted to play first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, but I don't think that had drawing power as, say, a Mario game or uh, something familiar that Nintendo buyers would be jump over all over. You know, uh, I just it, it was I thought it was a pretty weak launch. It was, and I it took me a while to actually get a Wii U. I didn't actually get it until Rayman Legends was was released, and you know that was mainly so I had to, I because I was going to review it, so I needed the system. Um, but I got it, and I did not play it for a while. I just it sort of just sat there as I was waiting for you know the next big release. But lately, I'm playing it nonstop. There's always something for me to play, and maybe that's because Hyrule Warriors is just the game that never ends. But <laughs> You and I are really big Hyrule Warriors fans. Yeah, yeah, but it, it, it is a solid game. It, it's it, it the Wii U is finally having its turnaround. We knew it was going to happen at some point, but yeah. th- mm-hmm. I still, you know, I I'm not going to lie and say that I didn't feel those two years of the utter lack of content. In my case, anyway, because you know it's different strokes for different folks, of course. Uh, but uh, besides that, um, any other the only other two games that I could recall that they may share some information on is Splatoon mm-hmm. and um, that uh, Operation Steam was it? Yes. Uh, Codename Code, uh, Steam. Code Steam. Code name Steam, sorry. Man, you called it Operation Steam, uh, Derek called it Project Steam with me the other day. <laughs> like, I'm the only one who well, actually maybe, knows the title of that game. <laughs> maybe it's indicative of uh, the quality because I wasn't very impressed with that game from what I saw at the Treehouse event. You know, I, I'm not an RTS fan, though, so that could be I'm it. not an RTS fan either, though, but I did kind of like the idea of it being over the shoulder and you have limited actions. I was, mm. I, I'll be honest, and I was actually sitting next to Chugger when they revealed it. Mm-hmm. I think I was the only one excited for that game in that entire room. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I saw it, and it looks so much like Valkyria Chronicles to me, and I love that game to oh. death. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. Something in that same vein. I know it's not exactly like it, but I'm there. I want it. Yeah, we saw Give we saw me. Andre after the show. Like I, that was the first time that I actually met him in person. He's just like, oh, I don't think I'm looking that forward. To- Why did I make him sound like Barney the Dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I, li- I like I like that I don't picture. Know. I'm not really totally sold on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you could just everybody's expecting Smash News or something. Oh no, Majora's Mask News and stuff like that. And as soon as it was not that, just the entire room deflated. It was the complete yeah, opposite yeah. of the Pac-Man reveal. People were where... just expecting, like people were just expecting it to for sure be one thing, and just when it wasn't that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's funny a that shame. Everyone's it... just like Nintendo needs to do a new IP, and then they announce one, and it's just no one cares. I mean, it's, it's not the one they, ca- yeah. <laughs> like I don't think you understand what the term new IP means. Yeah, uh... it was kind of the same problem the Wonderful One Hundred One had. A lot of the press just wasn't bothering to cover it, even though it was a new IP that they brought in Platinum to help make. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I will say I am excited for. Uh, I want to say it again. I don't know why I want to keep saying project. <laughs> Operation Project Steam. Operation code name <laughs> Operation Project Steam. <laughs> code name, not the game you're looking for. <laughs> yes, I am excited for. I like the art style. I like the style the RT the the style of gameplay. Um, I the special attacks look over the top and just wonderful. Uh, it's steampunk guys versus aliens. Okay, I'm there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I forget like what the uh, abbreviation for the title though, but it was like. It was like special team eliminating the alien menace. I think it was. Yeah, something like that. It was so good. Um, but um, before we uh, before we close anything off, though, mm-hmm. there is something that I want to bring up. And pretty much any time they've ever done a Nintendo Direct, where they're like, "Okay, we're covering winter releases for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U," or we're covering spring releases for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, we always get one surprise announcement, usually toward the end of the show. 
that is not coming out in that period, but they decide to announce it anyway. Um, that was how um, Kirby Triple Deluxe was announced. Um, that was how Hyrule Warriors was announced. I think that was also how Xenoblade Chronicles X was announced. What do you guys think it's going to be? Because we're probably going to get something of that nature. Because we always do. My first thought went immediately to an official reveal of the new Star Fox. I, I think it's too early. I don't know. Um, well, because well, when in E3... Miyamoto, the only thing I think Miyamoto confirmed was that they're now trying to get a, a, a publisher or someone, a development team to work on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Someone, someone to work on it. I'm not sure. So that, that, that only tells me they only have the paperwork down and proof of concepts, but nothing Tech solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that too. And let me see, that was in June. It's been uh, five months since then. Mm-hmm. I want to optimistically say that's enough time to produce at least a teaser. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, it's plausible. I I'm not gonna count on it though. Mm. Um, I, I don't think so either. I'm I'm with Johnny on this one. Mm. Uh, I can hope. <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna say, and we spent the first 15 minutes talking about it. So <laughs> I'm gonna shut my mouth and uh, <laughs> leave it at that. You just got to wait till tomorrow and see if my hopes are dashed. <laughs> okay, I think I got two that I that I think it could be. Uh, one. I could see it being Animal Crossing Wii U, because I'm pretty certain that's in development, because we have the Animal Crossing Plaza. They have all the characters from New Leaf rendered in HD graphics for that. They would not do that just to give out those models for free as part of a free app, because of how much work that wouldn't take. Um, I could see it being that. Um, The other thing that I could see it being... uh, I'll say... I'll say a Mario game for the 3DS. A Mario game for the 3DS? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. um, you, you um, there is Mario Maker. I still think they're gonna push that a bit before re- announcing any new uh, title of the franchise. Then again, they did yeah. have two new Super Mario Brothers games come out within two months of each other. Yeah, never forget. Yeah, <laughs> that was very dumb. Yeah, but that was it just, that it was, was it was very clear that New Super Mario Brothers U was the one that the time and money went into though, because New Super Mario Brothers <laughs> Two, while not a bad game, it didn't really have a whole lot setting it apart, and it was kind of the epitome of a safe game. Yeah, uh, too yeah. much of an epitome of that game. I thought it was boring. I, that's one like, of the rare Mario games I've never finished. I just, I was like, I'm, I'm so, it's so dull. I just pushed it aside. Been, like, no thanks. It's been stated that New Super Mario Brothers U had a development period of three years, and it kicked on development right as soon as New Super Mario Brothers Wii was finished. And it's also been stated that New Super Mario Brothers Two only had a development period of one year, only a third of that. Hmm. Jesus. Jeez. Um. So bring up. You said Animal Crossing for the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Uh. You're, are you, um, there was the reveal of like the um, the Animal Crossing amiibos and well Tom Nook one anyway. Yeah, Tom Nook. That's mm-hmm. another reason why uh, I kind of course, think that. And of course the villager uh, amiibo that's well, more related to Smash Brothers than Animal Crossing. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the new 3DS going to be? Uh, will don't, don't won't have amiibo features? Like yes. wouldn't be able. To... New 3DS will have amiibo features. Yes. I think that's. I want to say that's what the Animal Crossing amiibo, amiibos are for. Okay. They're going to release, uh, probably do a re-release on the 3DS, a new 3DS for Animal Crossing New Leaf with Amiibo support. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what, it, no, because I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I want to see an Animal Crossing on the Wii U. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it right this time. I'm going to make it <laughs> digital because that was my problem with New Leaf. I should have purchased that digitally. Having I your didn't. tongue with you at all times is the best. Exactly. I'm going I'm to do it right this time. I'm going to make it digital, so I don't have to worry about swapping disc and worry about weeds infesting my home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to see that. Tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to wait and see, but I'd totally be down for an Animal Crossing Wii U. Mm-hmm. But I think the Amiibos are strictly for a, a, th- a new 3DS update to New Leaf. Yeah. I, I will mm-hmm. say I don't think it's coming tomorrow, though, but I'd be very surprised if we went this generation without a Pikmin 4 happening, because they have that entire engine built, and I could see them reusing it like they did with Pikmin 2. Perhaps. Yeah. I would prefer to see them go to a different franchise. I know there's a lot of people begging for a lot of different games from Nintendo. I would love to see uh, a new Kid Icarus <laughs> for the Wii U. I'd love to need see... I, need I say F-Zero? F-Zero. Yeah. Um, People are still waiting for any type of confirmation of Majora's Mask 3D. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. Or hell, they might go all out and actually show some more footage of Zelda Wii U. I highly doubt it, but it's something that could happen. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Um, 
That is um it is tomorrow at the time of this recording at five yes. PM Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Uh do all the time zone yourselves, I'm too lazy. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm I'm of course I'm looking for I I always I always very look forward to a Nintendo Direct. It's just it's like a, it's like a Christmas present early, no matter what time of the year it is. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> sit in my chair, get my coffee in hand and live tweet to annoy all my followers. I <laughs> I do I do a different way of annoying everybody because it's just Andre and I at the ready, recording, uploading, barely paying attention. All these videos just flooding everybody's YouTube feeds. Feel kind of bad, but that's you know they're used to it by now. But because <laughs> we're gonna get every damn thing in there, <laughs> everything that's the day important. That, um, I think it was the day that Super Mario 3D World came out, and there was an individual video for every level in the game. Oh all God! At the that... same time, I was like, oh my God, guys! <laughs> that was a huge mistake on our part. Uh, basically, we were still used to us being small and nobody caring. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and so we had grown so quickly, and all of a sudden, like, more people were around, and we just flooded it because that's what we're used to. And, you know, <laughs> that was a bad idea. Yeah, I remember, a, I remember just everybody. In yeah. the course of a day, I think we had over 70 videos uploaded. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was ridiculous because Link Between World came out and Andre had uploaded all that Nintendo, uh, Mario stuff during the day at midnight. And I had, I was, the plan was for once, you know, my, you know I woke up in the morning, 7, 8 a.m. to start uploading the Link Between World stuff. And I didn't see his messages saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. So right there was more of my videos going up. Oh my God. People, content overload. we noticed we lost a thousand followers in a day. <laughs> that I, was I, not I a really good... hate to say this considering I'm on this channel, but I was one of them. No, no, I I, 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 I resubscribed <laughs> after a few weeks, but I was one of I them. I don't blame anyone for that. And if you've noticed, we have tried not to do that anymore because yeah. You are no longer the game explain, I know. <laughs> we just it's... That man is dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was a scary time like Andre's just like it was horrifying just I'd refresh and 50 were gone <laughs> and each time it was ridiculous oh god anyway we're completely off topic at this yes. point so all right I think that covers it for our predictions for the upcoming direct as far as a, as many other tangents as we can come up with will we be right maybe who knows but I want to thank you guys for watching, and I also want to thank Johnny and Chugga for joining me. Guys, plug your channels. <laughs> My channel is Chugga Conroy. I do Let's Plays. I'm currently covering Xenoblade Chronicles. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks everyone for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny of Some Call Me Johnny. You can find me at youtube.com slash Some Call Me Johnny. I do video game reviews, along with some uh, other things. Uh, when I get the time to do so, like little cartoons, I hope you guys enjoy them. Look forward to my Bayonetta 2 review coming up. And Emil, for the love of God, play Prime. You are doing yourself a huge disservice <laughs> by ignoring that game. But good luck with Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> I agree. I appreciate it. Alright, so if you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain, And of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more on all things Nintendo and other things gaming too. Till next time, guys. Bye.